the ten of swords i don't necessarily like but we're gonna we're gonna take a look see what's going on your the underlying energy is the seven of swords okay and this does talk about you know taking a risk perhaps denial moving away from something getting, getting dodging something but the knight of cups i don't know i feel like this is taking a risk right because i feel like in the past it was the knight of cups which was you know focusing a lot on what you wanted focusing on what you you know on your emotions on how you're feeling or what your heart's desire was you know and then now it's like the seven of swords it's like why would you go from well, you know why would you go from knowing what you want to avoiding it then but then at the same time it could be that someone else offered you something and you just was like hell no for a second there maybe not hell no but it was I'm, i feel like it was more of like a, i don't know if i can do this sort of situation okay you know what i mean like there's just something here that was kind of keeping you from being able to pursue it now i feel like there is this sort of pursuing sort of energy like you're ready to do it even if it is slightly uncomfortable or it may be this whole reading is about going ahead and doing it right i'm trying to see make sure you guys are able to see all the cards here and it's like i don't know if you guys can okay well the current state of being cap is the nine of cups so this is focusing a lot on your heart's desire the knight of cups nine of, nine of cups knights of cups both kind of very similar but the nine of cups is definitely sure is definitely like you're sure of what it is that you want you're definite on what it is that you want um you can even find solace and peace with that with knowing what you want okay it alleviates a lot of the question marks in, in regards to pursuing things you're like yeah i have a goal i know why i'm going after this so this is a good card to see here for you i like this okay what you guys want right what your desired outcome is is the three of cups re reunion reconnection with someone i always see the three of cups as reunion reconnection because look at that what is your wish to be surrounded by friends and family that could be it too right you may want to you know connect with people connect with you know the people that you love you may want to meet new people be you know be a part of a new community because of the four of wands here but i really feel like this is mostly talking about reunions really you know getting back together with someone or really getting back together or getting together with people perhaps even but the thing that's keeping you from being able to do this is the ten of wands which talks about a burden that there's something that's burdening right now like there's something that's that's weighing you down it's keeping you from being able to pursue what you want to pursue keeping you from um, reconnecting with someone and this re and the reason why you perhaps you know there is this thing regarding like you, you know, this little this burden that's keeping you from being able to reconnect with somebody perhaps it's because there's some things that need to be set straight first some things that are just left un, you know on you know not corrected something here with the with the, with the justice card is indicating to me that perhaps there's the, it needs to straighten some things out perhaps maybe there's something that you need to apologize for or someone else needs to apologize to you or it was just like both misunderstandings on both parts and it just needs to be kind of leveled out some things need to be settled the burden actually has a lot of thing to do with something not being corrected and but hence the seven of swords being the avoidance aspect of it because if you want to pursue what you want to pursue but then at the same time you know you got to deal with this justice energy you know you got to deal with this karma you got to finish this out and it's like okay well yeah it probably was let's say like this was maybe from a month ago to probably 10 years ago like a range of that right if it's even back then why would you want to go back and deal with that because this is in this is pending still this is something that's still weighing down on you so much that you can't even get what you want is it worth it no i don't think so but it's up to you right this is pending impending karma that needs to be finished it needs to be hashed out needs to be done with okay and that's why the ten of swords is coming up in your best path to follow which is what it makes sense to me now because i was looking at it, i'm like why you guys have the ten of swords in your, in your best path to follow why and it's like the worst card to get 
But it means to just end it. End the situation. Cut it down. Just, just, sh- just shut it down. Like slam that butt closed and never look at, look back. You know, but really slam it closed. Don't actually, not, not like the seven of swords slam it closed, which is not really slamming it closed, but it's like leaving it open and being like, well, I forgot to close it and look, close it and just leave. No, no, no. Cause that's impending and then, right? It's just pending. Okay. No, it actually means just shutting it down. Li- just literally ending the situation. It's hard to do, especially because that, obviously that's why you have the seven of swords there. You're like, hell no, you don't want to deal with this. Nobody wants to do the ten of swords. Nobody wants to deal with that ten of swords energy. Nobody even wants to deal with karma. Karma is a very, it's one of those things where everybody has to, every has to deal with it, but it's, it's a has to deal with it, right? But then there's some things with karma that's really good too, right? You like, there's karma is is a you know it doesn't have a good or a bad. It's anything. It's everything. It, it is what it is. Why is it is what it is? Because karma could be that you bust your ass at work and you get a a bonus right doing the best you can loving what you do that's karma ensuing and giving you back what you put in it's just the same principle if you do something that isn't the best right but either way this needs to be set up and this needs to be done right done with the good thing is about this is that the worst is over when it gets to this point you you can't get this low again you can't get this low you can't regarding this situation you can't ever get that low you can only go up from this point, but you have to get to this point first. You have to cut this stuff down to nothing. Just be like, you know what? This is your truth. This is what's happening. That's it is what it is. I'm about to sneeze. Ooh, oh my goodness. I guess I'm not. How you guys are feeling? The four of wands, which is actually really good. It tells me that you guys are in a place where you guys are a little more stable. You know what I'm saying? You guys are feeling pretty stable here. I like that. You feel like you've gotten to a place where you can, you know, one, celebrate how far you've come. And then two, really kind of like, you know, you know, see how much you've, you know, see where you need to go next. This is a place of higher commitment as well. And a place of like, you've achieved something here. You've made something for yourself now. You've got a nice little foundation. You can pursue more from this. This is not where you stay. But the thing here is, you got the four of pentacles as your hopes, as your hopes and fears. I think you want to hold on to your success. You want to hold on to the things that you've made. You want to do all those those great things. But at the same time, you want to be able to get to where you want to be. I don't think you want to get stuck in holding on to something for forever that you end up passing by an opportunity to reconnect with somebody or to connect with people in general or to date again. You you don't want to hold on so tight to what you've got because justice, because this energy, because of karma is making you fear stepping outside of your comfort zone. It's just understandable, right? But that's the thing. You got to rip off the bandage. It's ten of swords. You got to rip it right the hell off the, the tower and your outcome. You got to rip it off, man. Ladies, gentlemen, whoever. You got to rip off the bandage. It's going to it's gonna sting a little bit, right? It's, it's, it's not going to be pain free. But the thing here is, is that the worst is over. It's just like a shot, right? When you go in, it hurts for like a couple seconds. It's like a small little pinch and then it's done. The process lasts about a good two to three minutes. It feels like it, it in your mind, you blow it up. You don't want to get to the point where you're starting to nine of swords, eight of swords it. Cause when you do that, the things get a little stuck. You won't be able to do what you feel you need to do because you're focusing on what you didn't want to do in the first place. And it can be hard. This ain't easy. But trust me, going out and doing it, just ripping off the bandage, you will feel so much better doing that. And you'll be able to go into this opportunity to reconnect with whoever or connect with whoever, right? Be surrounded by people that love you, celebrate even your success by finally hashing out what needs to be hashed out. Exchanging gifts. Wow. And this is this is about balance too. It's a giving and receiving, yes, but it's also talking about the flow of balance. 
what needs what 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 is what does what cause and effect. Well, chop chop is under here too. Chop chop. It's chop wood, <laughs> but it's also about balance. Whatever has come to you on your plate, it has to be dealt with. You have to, you know, there's something that you got to do. It's talk, it's talk about, it's, this is talking about your turn. Now, depending on the reading, it can read that it's time for you to wait for someone else to give you what you need to give, right? Because it's, you know, it is exchanging gifts. You know, it takes one to, to you know, it's a, to, you know, it's a flow, right? You got to do something and then the other person gives back. You got to do something for the other person to give back. The other person has to do something, you give back. You know, it's that whole flow. It's that whole balance thing. Right now, it's looking like it's impending on your part. It's something that you have to do. It's your turn. It's your area. It's your, the ball is in your court right now. And that ball it depends on what you do with that ball. You can either hold on to that ball and not give it back, or you could toss it right back. Or you could put it in a basket. In a basket that doesn't have a hole in the bottom like a basketball hoop. Like, you could just throw it in there and be like, okay, that's done. I'm never going to touch that ball again. Ten of Swords. It's hard. Like, I'm, but here's the thing. I don't want y'all thinking that I'm just I'm just saying this stuff and I'm like, wow, you just think this stuff is just so easy. Trust me, y'all. It is not. It is not easy to do. I I'm a Libra. I hate doing that shit. I really do. I hate telling people to bug off. I hate telling people, you know what, this is not working for me. But you know what? It feels better doing it rather than just sitting there and waiting for somebody to just get sick and tired of you know the situation and do it themselves. Right, because they may never do it because it's not their problem. It's all, it's yours. It's theirs. It, it's not theirs. It's it's ours. It's yours. And it feels better than sitting there in misery waiting. Some things you just gotta have to do it. You just gotta do it for the best of you, because you're the only person that's gonna know what you need better. You're the only person. You're the only person. No, but no one ever is going to know you better, better than you do. And who's going to take care of you the, the best? You. And this is the same situation. You got to do what's best for you so you could get what you want. You guys have this. Wow. Show simple acts of kindness. And it says, a simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. This is, again, telling you that the ball's in your court. It's up to you to do something. You cannot expect someone else to do something else for you. And you definitely cannot expect the universe to give you what you want in the way that they want to give to you. Because remember, the tower has got two things, right? Either you do it or the universe does it. And like I always tell people, you don't want the universe. You don't want the tower to happen to you. You want to be the tower. Take control of your situation. You're a Capricorn ruled by Saturn. You guys are good at controlling your environment, making things out. To, you know, you guys are the CEOs of the Zodiac. That's why I see y'all as. You guys take control of what it is that you need to take control of, and you make stuff right. This is the absolute opportunity to do so. It's time to do it. But you want to do it before things kind of just kind of get out of control, and it, things have to do it themselves. Because you may not like how it does it. And I'm not saying this as a threat. I'm saying this to encourage you guys to go out there and, and take control. Take action. Mend this. Bring this peace. You know what I mean? Let there be, let bygones be bygones. Let's like shake hands on this agreement and walk away. Because right now, right now, this karma here is just like, you know, it's the only thing that's standing in your way. Don't run from it. Run towards it. 